Hey folks, my name is Dave Snyder. Uh, this is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to teach you how to set up a Linux desktop, set up for development. Uh, we're going to go with a custom uh, Arch Linux distribution and we're going to throw GNOME on top of it. But before we do any of that, we need to set up a ISO on a USB drive so then we can plug that into our computer and get through the Arch install procedure. So let's get started with it. Um, the first step, honestly, is just finding uh, the Arch ISO. So if you just type Arch Linux download uh, into Google, you're going to get a uh, you know, downloads area. You're going to end up on this page, and it's going to have a million gazillion links. Now, if you want, you can always grab it off the torrent, um, but I always just tend to go down to my country which in my case is the United States. I tend to pick the MIT one. It really doesn't matter. These are just mirrors. They're all going to point to the same files. Now, Arch is a rolling release, meaning that there is a new release that comes out every month, regardless of what's going on uh, with it. And so what we need to do at that point is just go ahead and click uh, the ISO that's there. You can see I already downloaded it once, which is why we've got that appended uh, one in parentheses on it. Now, you're probably starting from a Mac or from a Windows. I am on you know Linux here to start with, but the process is going to be pretty much the same regardless. Uh, so once we've got that download, we're going to uh, need to use uh, some software to actually write to our USB drive. And... Uh, one that I know will work on every single uh, distribution is one called Bolana Etcher. Uh, so here we go. We can see uh, this Etcher um, program. If you're on a Mac or you're on uh, Windows, you can download this one. You select the image, you select the drive, and then you flash it. Uh, so pretty simple. Within uh, Linux, I'm just going to show you how we do it here. Uh, since you're here because you're interested about Linux. So let's go to our disks area. Uh, and so I'm here within a GNOME uh, desktop and I can see, all right, I've got two disks. I've got a two terabyte drive and then I've got a uh, Samsung uh, 64 gigabyte USB drive that I've just got plugged in there. So your first step that you're going to want to do is go through and format the disk. If you're using uh, Blana Etcher. You can do this as part of the process. Um, go through and just click format. It's going to format that drive. It's now going to have no uh, no files on it. Our next point that we need to do is we want to restore the disk image. Uh, this is just going to be selecting that file. So we've got two here. They're the same file. That's the last one that I downloaded. We can select that one. May as well. Uh, and then we start restoring. Um, we click this button, it's going to ask for uh, permission on our drive. Uh, and then it's just going to take uh, a short minute here to actually go through and restore this. Um, at that point, we're going to have our USB, uh, you know, ISO that we can use to actually start uh, the Arch Linux install procedure. The next video in the series is going to walk us through how to actually do that. Um, but what you're going to need to do is take your computer, whichever one that it is, um, and normally every um, manufacturer has some manner of button combination that you need to press when you restart your computer. As long as that USB drive is in there, you hit that key command. So for example, a lot of PCs, it tends to be F2 during the BIOS screen. On a Mac, it tends to be just holding the power button down while you uh, start it up. Um, but at that point, it should load you up within the um, ISO boot and we can start doing an Arch install. So that's what the next video is going to cover. But at this point, you're pretty safe to eject the drive. Uh, we can then take that drive out of our computer, which I'm grabbing here. And now you've got your ISO that you can plug in. At this point, just reboot your computer and get started. And we're going to cover you through in the series, man. We're going to build a nice uh, Linux desktop for you. I'll see you all.